Are you stuck and don't want to reroll? Okay, take a look what I've done. So first things first, use up all your diamonds for summons. There's no point in keeping them if you're not going to be able to play the game. Try to hit SSR plus pity if you can. So as you can see here, I'm only on my second rotation for my summons pulls. The one I got from my SSR plus pity was Kun Mashani. If you're not F2P and can spend, buy the cheapest summon packages. If you haven't bought the SSR selector, ideally you get Rack. If you don't have a strong tank or someone you already have, and you use that to do to limit break the character. Additionally, push trials as much as you can because you can get suspendium and summon tickets as rewards for clearing out stages. Second one I did was focus my Shinsu link. Initially, I was trying to level my Shinsu link evenly across the board. But after I got stuck, I, got, I focused and watched at what point does my team start wiping. I noticed that when my tank dies, everyone else just folds. So I was trying to figure out a way to make my tank stronger. Summoning dupes was not a reliable possibility since it requires luck. So I focused what I could control, which is Sinshu levels. I focused on my upgrades on my tank initially while the rest were still 56. This allowed me to push a few more levels. Afterwards, I slowly power up my main DPS and push him to 75. Uh, levels are not fixed. I simply maxed out what, how much materials upgrades I had when I was stuck after I was stuck on a Sage. So initially I was stuck on 436. So I focused on leveling Rack, then I was able to push beyond that. Then after I got a few more mats, I leveled up my DPS to support my main tank. If this is not enough, uh, try to uh, get more loots by using Suspendium. I mean, you already get additional Suspendium once you push more stages. So like here, you'll notice in my team, I actually have a secondary, well, another DPS, but I only got her because I was able to push with this two. Wang Lanja was my main DPS from 436 to 530. So Rack was level 70 check rack was level 72 um wang Lanzo was level 75 the rest of these were level 56 then i was able to push then i was able to summon her then i'll push some more then i started leveling them up so they can catch up on the levels but now i'm i'm not yet hitting a wall on adventure but i am hitting a small wall on trials so I plan to focus it on rack again and basically rinse repeat until I get stronger and stronger as I progress the game. For limit breaks, I also focus them on the ones that I have upgraded to help them very carry on stages. So initially, rack was my only C. Then my DPS, then just slowly upgrading everybody to put them in basically to cover my weaknesses for me since i already focused my shinsu levels on my tank and dps i thought to consider how to buff my main support so like i said i focused my upgrades on evan so the support he rendered was able to strengthen my tank and my dps uh longevity and fights and it will be different for you uh considering the makeup of your units or who really carries your team so you have to study your team well to figure out which one of those uh is worthy of an upgrade 
as you notice, I did simple focus upgrades instead of evenly spreading it out. In Tower of Gods, unfortunately, all characters are not created equal. There are some characters that can go ham right out. I'm told Evan Kill is arguably the strongest carry so far. At no dupes. If you already have her, congrats. Finding which character on your team that can carry and thus is worth the focus upgrades relies on your personal findings as you push your team to their next adventure stages. You may have also noticed that in my adventure team my SSR plus are my lowest levels. Well this is because I believe their base stats and their growth are able to keep up with the difference. This is not a one to one definite experience because your units will be different from mine and the little upgrades we did in between will be different. So try to really watch and monitor your units, who carries, who kills, who when they die puts the team in jeopardy. Figuring that out will help you be able to really focus on who needs the upgrades the most. Is there anything else you know that I missed? Tell me in the comments.